Cora Regan. And today is Friday, December 11th. And we're back with another WVN broadcast. In your class is doing a class project this holiday, and the class officers made a video of what this is all about. In your class, we are reaching out to them this holiday. Hi, my name is Haley. Students, be sure to fill out the form at the bottom of the poster. Um, this will be on the senior class website and your teachers should be reminding you. Hi right, guys, I'm Adam. And the form is out now for you guys to do. So please do it as soon as you possibly can. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. The Seniors for Seniors is a great way to cheer up people during the holidays. The junior class will be doing a mass challenge, and Olivia made a video with information about this, so let's go check it out. Attention all juniors! Want a chance at winning a holiday gift card? Start with a blank mask and make it your own by adding decorations and drawings. Send a picture of your finished product to Instagram at matokahigh2022 or to the URL bit.ly forward slash jr2022 mask. Voting will take place during homeroom on December 16th. Good luck! That was a great video made by Olivia. The special education students have been doing some yoga, and Hannah and Jayla were able to get a sneak peek on what they do. Let's check it out. Hi Warriors, I'm Jayla and I'm Hannah and today we're going down to Mr. Fullen's class to watch some of the students do some yoga. Check it out. Hi, I'm Mrs. Flanagan. I'm one of the teachers and I teach in a self-contained autism class here at Matoka. And one of the programs that I do is the Get Ready to Learn program. It's a yoga program with the kids. I do it with some kids here in school and I do it with other kids virtually. It helps the kids with autism focus and get their brains centered so they can learn better during the day. It's a really neat program. Um, I do it every day with them and I, I think they really enjoy it. It focuses their brain. It focuses from the chaos in the morning, from getting ready and riding the bus and getting here and doing what they need to do. It helps them settle down and focus and help with learning. Well, my, my favorite thing about yoga is when the lady says, squeeze and hold. <laughs> okay. okay. So I'm here with... David. And um, what's your favorite thing about yoga? Is the, um, the uh, rocking lady on the, uh, on the yoga. <laughs> she says, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Hey, McKay, have you been able to find inexpensive gifts for friends and family this holiday? You know, I haven't. Me too, but Jenna and Madison made a video about inexpensive gifts this year. Let's check it out. Welcome back, guys. You'd be like, welcome back. Welcome back to shopping. Welcome back, guys. To oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were Okay, guys. Oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Where am I having? I haven't watched it. Something. Going back, guys, to shopping with Madison and Jenna. So today we're gonna buy some inexpensive gifts at Five and Below. They are for simple stocking stuffers, or just for your friends and family, or if you need some easy things to find for your secret Santa this year. All right, let's go and see when you're not get kicked out.
that's it for this week's video. Hopefully this helped you out with your own budget Christmas shopping. See, See you next, next time. time. They're like, and now blooper. Like, my cards would be like, look what we got. Sorry. What am I supposed to be saying? That was bad. I don't know how to say that. I sound weird when I say that. Oh, wait, what am I saying again? That was a great video. Now I know what to get my friends this holiday season. Many families have their own special traditions. Let's check out this video that Matthew, Reed, and Brody made about some of the traditions that families have for the holidays. Blake, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? Well, for the car club, you know, we go to car meets and stuff, but uh, can't do any street racing because the road's too wet, I mean, too cold, and the tires won't grab and stuff, but you know, we work on our cars during the winter and stuff while we wait till street racing starts happening again. Yeah, that's nice, that's very nice. Mike right, Griffin, what do you like to do during Christmas? He's a more of a demonstration guy, so you Couple of calls. <laughs> Alright, Steele, what's your favorite holiday tradition? It's a wonderful question, Matthew. Let me go ahead and answer that for you. Uh, every year, my family loves to gather around the old uh, campfire and we uh, spin the dreidel all night long. I tell you, it's my favorite part of Very traditional. I like that. My favorite family tradition for the holidays is setting up this counter to tell how many days are till Christmas because it kind of puts into perspective how far away Christmas is and it kind of puts me in the spirit. My favorite Christmas tradition is helping decorate the house and trees with my family. That was a cool video. Holiday traditions are so special. I've done a lot of online shopping this year. I wonder how other people shop. Brody and Cooper made a video about this. During the current coronavirus pandemic, many changes have been made to the methods of shopping both online and at store. Stores are required to have top-notch sanitization and maintenance of social distancing in order to keep the safest environment for vulnerable people like elderly, infants, and those with underlying conditions to resist the virus. If you are able to, shopping online seems to be the most effective way to purchase your products as it provides the safest transportation and least amount of person-to-person -person contact. Amazon Prime is a really helpful service for shopping online as it provides a low subscription cost for free shipping on all Prime products. However, if you choose to shop in person, wearing a mask would be sufficient to combat the spread of COVID. Everyone is aware that grocery shopping almost has to be in person, but many major retailers have taken steps to create online orders of groceries that are ready to pick up in store without any need of browsing in person. On another note, plane ticket prices have dropped by almost 50% since before the pandemic started. So if you somehow need to fly anywhere, anytime soon, prices should be pretty generous. Both online and in-person shopping offer their own advantages, and everyone has free will to choose their method, but it is heavily advised to sanitize and wear a mask of choosing to go in person. Have a happy and safe holiday, Warriors. Thanks for that video, Brody and Cooper. Baking during the holidays is one of my favorite things to do. Let's check out this baking video that Sophie, Allison, Kai, and Emily put together.
information. I'm Sophie. I'm Katie. And I'm Wit. And we're going to be doing some holiday baking. We're making Christmas top to cookies. So stay tuned. We're so excited. So excited. Okay, so now we have to add a half cup of shortening. Now we're adding in a half cup of butter. We're now beating that mixture for uh, 30 seconds on high speed. Okay, um, next thing we're adding is half a cup of sugar. Okay, then you add in one cup of packed brown sugar. Now you add a half teaspoon of baking soda and mix it for till it's combined. Till it's combined. Um, then you add two eggs. Now we're adding a teaspoon of vanilla. Then beat the mixture until it's combined. Um, and one of the last steps is be in the two and a half cups of flour. We actually forgot to preheat the oven, but you want to preheat the oven to 375. So the last step is the best step, and we're going to be adding in our Christmas M&Ms, and you just stir it in along with chocolate chips. So it's chocolate. Okay, Travis, what is your favorite part about Christmas? Probably the break. Lastly, you put <laughs> spoonfuls. <laughs> of cookie dough onto the sheet and bake them at 375 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. These are the finished product. Put these wonderful cookies. Let's see how good they are. Oh no, they're so good. So hey guys, so tonight me and Annabelle are gonna be making hot cocoa cookies and letting y'all know how we like them. Okay, so now we're gonna take the cookies out and put them on the tray and we're heating up the oven. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we're gonna take the cookies and put them on the tray. Okay, so now we put them on the trays and we're gonna go put them in the oven. Okay, so we just finished the cookies and this is how they turned out and we're about to try them. They're kind of so mushy no. right now, but okay, we're gonna try them. They're good. Eh. They're good. Eh. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Now I'm craving some holiday treats. If you're interested in being featured on WBN, you have the chance. Let's check out this video that Kendall made for more information. Students and staff, do you want to be featured in a video for WBN next week? Because if so, WBN is planning on doing a holiday carpool karaoke segment before winter break. You might have seen these types of videos or clips done before with famous celebrities, but at Matoica, we can do it better. So keeping with the same theme of those videos, what you need to do for your video submission is you pick your favorite holiday song or a holiday song that you enjoy, and you just record yourself singing to whatever song you decide to pick next time you're in your car. Remember that you need to film horizontally. You can submit your video then to us by emailing submitwbn at gmail.com or you can DM us at MatokaWBN on Twitter 
or at MatokaWBN on Instagram before next Tuesday, December 15th. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Matoka WBN and check out our YouTube at Warrior Broadcast News. And email us at submitwbn at gmail.com. And if you have any ideas that you would like to share, send them to bit.ly slash WBN sign up. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.